Guys, uh, me, I no lie to you now. I weak. I did really, 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 really weak. I'm not feeling good at all. I'm not feeling good at all. Personally, I'm okay. It's just the system. Just the Nigeria system. I don't boost. I don't boost. I don't support. I don't support. I don't indirectly speak for the present government. I don't indirectly understand where did they come from. But one thing I know go understand they say when a government lack sympathy. When government lacks sympathy uh, sympathy towards its citizens, uh, it shows maybe we able the military regime. And so far the military regime that we have been witnessing so far in some other countries that they are taking over. Their citizens are happy. I weak for the matter, guys. Me, I don't lie to you. That's why I'm just here to just, uh, as I talk about the new, the normal thing about what people, their reaction on the, what Tinubu said recently about how he addressed us. I also will try as much as possible to express myself. I was expecting our president uh, to talk to us. Talk to us. No speak BB grammar. Don't speak BB English. No tell us BB big, big figures. Five billion, fifty billion, hundred billion, two hundred billion, save you one trillion, no save one trillion. No save this. First subsidy this. We have been looted. Uh, 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 saving this. All those things are big, big English with big, big figures. Didn't you know that majority of Nigerians say no care about figures? In fact, eh, in this country, people are okay with you looting. Yes. People are okay with the government looting. You know what Nigerians are begging for? I beg, give us more job. In many countries, eh, they are not okay with you looting a cobble. But in Nigeria, we have in a way systematically brainwashed ourselves. And we can even argue that a government who steals little is better than another government that steals so much. And meanwhile, stealing is bad. I'm just telling you the Nigeria system. Go and ask. Person will tell you, I beg. Uh, nobody know the thief. But I beg, me the thieves most more. Me they remember the people. It don't they in beauty in us. I was expecting our president uh, to tell us. Head on. The whole issue. Now, hunger be the problem. Now, cost of commodity in the market be the problem. Now, fuel be the problem. There is no assurance at all. It, like, I was expecting him to say, you know what? I promise you, very, very soon, within the space of one year, Nigeria will never experience any increase of fuel again. I promise you the fuel will drop drastically from 700, some places, 1,000 down to 500 or, six, uh, 500 or 300. Give me time. Something like that, now person one here. Something like that, now person one here. Of course, you remove uh, the taxes on the commodity like food and drugs, which is really okay. But that one will see rich. On Ghana, I carry people on street. On Ga. You release billions. You release billions. We know. But are these things getting down to the people? That should be the question now. You are a Nigerian, Mr. President. You know the issues of this country. It's not about the big, big number you are calling. It's about implementation. It's about getting down to the grassroots. And I do not know why the governors are going scot-free. 
Did you guys know the governor's allocation has doubled ever since? Doubled. Let us also let us also drag them along. Let us let them know we know. The allocation have doubled ever since. The allocation have been have increased ever since. So wait till they, they use the money do. What are they using the money for? And again, recently, check this out. They had a meeting and the they also gave them, I think, uh, how much, how much, how much is it? They said, more than 570 billion naira has been released to the 36 states to expand livelihood support for their citizens. More than, 30 bi- more than 570 billion has been released to 36 states to expand Life livelihood support to their citizens. Five hundred and seventy billion. Is it not about time? We also they seek for the governors to tell us how far. When will this a uh, 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 local government autonomy start? When? Will it start really, really soon? I don't know, guys. When will it start? Because they need to be, to start telling us when they are sending money. Honestly, that speech I make, President make, eh? you know, enter body. I don't go lie, you know, you know, enter body. You know, enter body. You know, enter body at all. According to Comrade Deji said, I am not surprised at all. Ruto also issued two similar statements like Tunubu before he finally saw the power of the people and he reversed the tax bill. President Tunubu must meet the demand of protesters. He must halt the hunger in the country. Return for subsidy. Nigeria already paying for a subsidy of one trillion monthly by Tunubu. What are we what we are all saying is Tunubu should stop this one trillion fraud and return us to the 30 billion monthly subsidy of last year before it took over when fuel was 167 per liter. Is that too much to ask for? No. So people are saying Tunubu is lying that uh, he's not paying for a subsidy, that he is still paying for a subsidy. You know, I don't just know who I would to believe, honestly. According to Daniel Rega, Daniel Rega said, Tunubu's speech lacked empathy, accountability, and the statement downplayed the seriousness of the situation. No single protest demand was addressed or acknowledged. The police brutality was, was also overlooked despite the news of protesters being shot to death by the Nigeria police. What Nigeria had demanded is good governance. But this government keeps heading, adding salt to injury. <laughs> then Dele Mamadou said, fellow Nigeria, good morning. After the long-awaited speech of uh, President Bola Ahmed Tunubu eventually came this morning, I'm sure most of you would be as uh, stupefied as, as me. I must confess that I had little hope of Tunubu granting some concession to the gr- uh, aggrieved Nigerians. As a man who has held high on grip on Lagos State in the last 25 years, it will be difficult for him to change a winning formula that has worked for him ever since. Also, what did we expect his advisor to be telling him? When most of them have been his most fanatical chronics from Lagos who have learned never to challenge the master. First, he said, in view, then he said this is what he was expecting to the to say. In view of the unprecedented 
child suffering being experienced by Nigeria, we have decided to cut cost of governance drastically. So minister will be scrapped and some ministry permanent secretary and all redundant personnel would be eased out. No official car will be procured anytime soon. The number of aircraft on the presidential fleet will be reduced to maximum to maximum two. I offer sincere apology that we went ahead to invest in luxury air actem at this bad time. We shall place immediate embargo or subsequent postage. Subsidy of petrol product will be reviewed thoroughly to ascertain the genuine cost and true billing of the controversial payment. While we hope to achieve this maximum of uh, maximum of three months, we shall revert to the old price within this period in order to reduce the heavy burden of our people. We shall also escalate work on our existing refinery without which we shall be thrown away loads of resources. Nothing has stalled our, our refinery other than reckless corruption. This we are blocking immediately. Instead of taxing civil, civil servants and politicians to handle student loan and vocational grant, we shall engage reputable accounting firm and banks to set up modality for credit and activate the disbursement. That's coming from Daily Momodo. He said that is what he was expecting Tunubu to say and to address it quickly. But unfortunately, Tunubu no even send e papa. <laughs> oh God. God, Deo. Let me know how you feel, guys. Bye.